U.S. President Barack Obama sat down for one-on-one -on -one talks with his Burmese counterpart Thein Sein on Thursday night. Burma's 2015 general election was the major discussion point. Next year's vote promises to gauge just how far the country has come since political and economic reforms began in late 2011. However, a constitutional clause bans presidential bids from those with foreign family members. That rules out opposition leader Aung San Suu Kyi. So, uh, specifically, we had the opportunity to uh, discuss uh, elections that are scheduled for next year uh, and the need for those elections to be fair, inclusive, transparent, uh, and that uh, the constitutional amendment process uh, that has begun uh, needs to uh, reflect uh, the ability of all voices uh, in uh, Myanmar society to participate. Obama reaffirmed America's support for President Thein Sein, the former army general turned parliamentarian who is chiefly responsible for Burma's transition. The democratization process in Myanmar is real. Uh, and we can point to specific changes that are making a difference. But in our discussions, uh, we recognize that uh, this process uh, is still incomplete. Obama has come under significant international pressure on this trip to hold Burma to account for apparent backsliding over the past year. At a further meeting with key ministers on Thursday night, the American leader acknowledged the scope of the challenges facing the once pariah state. There will be times where we offer constructive criticism about uh, the lack of progress in certain areas or where reform efforts have stalled. Uh, but uh, our consistent aim and goal uh, will be to see that uh, this transition is completed so that it delivers concrete benefits for uh, the people here, uh, whether that's improved uh, incomes for ordinary people, whether it means that farmers have greater access uh, to productive lands, whether it means uh, uh, young people are getting uh, a high quality education, uh, you know, whether it means that religious minorities are adequately protected. Uh, you know, the test in the end will be, is it making people's lives better? Obama arrived in Burma's former capital Rangoon early on Friday morning where he will meet Aung San Suu Kyi before departing for the G20 summit in Australia.